Hey guys, Tony Soy Sasa Sasa, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Just came back from vacation, so we gotta get back on groove and do some reviews. So today we have the CAO Fasa Noche. There you go. So yeah, let's get right to look at the cigar now. My studios. For the close shot, it's not set up right now. So I'll record it right in front of my desk. It's gonna be ugly, but the same. All right, be right back. Watch this. CAO Fasa Noche Toro 6x50 MSRP $6.99 in a box of 24. Wrapper is Connecticut Broadleaf. Binder is Cameroon, filler is Dominican Republic and Nicaragua from Condega, Esteli and Jalapa. The wrapper is, as usual, broadly ugly, overall oily, but the cigar itself looks pretty good. Construction wise, uh, in terms of overall look, looks fine. White band, good contrast. All right, we'll get started. Okay, so as usual, you know, you guys know that, that, you know, broadleaf just, just that's the way it looks, right? You know, there's not much to it. I don't know. It's pretty hard to film right in front of my desk, but we got it done. Gave you the information and now it's time to smoke it. Today I'm pairing with what I consider will have killed me, but my wife say I should try it is this Oreo Coca-Cola Zero Sugar thing. So I'm going to pair with this. I'm not looking for like how can like, like chocolate Coke. Yeah. All right. Let's cut and smoke. Take off the foot band. All right, here we go. So you got this little tab right here. Easy remove. Noche on the bottom. I like that design. It's quick, easy to remove. Yeah, everybody make this tab just like that. Oh, all right. I can definitely say this smells like butt. Yep, smells like butt. sweaty but wow this is packed like okay oh all right barnyard a lot of barnyard 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 i feel like he's left it yeah he's left it barnyard 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 okay should I just rip this off? Or... Where is the... Oh, it's over there. Hey, it's glued. Uh, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay to remove it. Just glue down. All right. Wow. It's a little bit... Like dirty water barnyard paste. All right. All 
Why is this fire so so excited today? Ew. All right. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, like wet, dirty water leaf. Some espresso bitterness. Some pepper. Leather, a lot of leather too. Some like weird bitterness. Licorice. That's it. So we'll smoke one third and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm a little bit over first third because I was hoping they get better. This thing is really bad. Really, really bad. Like I don't even know. It tastes like chocolate, coffee, really wet, sour, old leaf. Like almost rotten leaf with some barnyard. Pepper is there, but it's almost non-existent. Pretty bad. I don't know how you can screw up brown leaf like this, but apparently you can't. Now, I know people's going to bitch at me. I was pairing with this, um, but it doesn't. It doesn't taste like Oreo. It might have some smell, like after you drink it. That air comes back up, not burp, but like the leftover taste. We smell it, kind of reminds you maybe Oreo, but it doesn't taste like Oreo. It does not. It does not. So when it says fizzy cookie flavor, it does not taste like cookie. It, it <laughs> tastes like other soda. I don't know. Well, we'll get into second, third real quick. So you're right back. All right, I'm going to second third and yeah it's close to third it's last third because like i just want to smoke through this thing it's kind of nasty just leafy just very leafy you know it doesn't taste like a bra leaf leafy well maybe it's just this one that doesn't taste that good but here you go the band fasa cao leafy It tastes like somebody went to their backyard, grabbed a leaf that's uh, um, been through the rain, roll it, and, and do it. Now the flavor kind of died down a little bit. It's a little bit better. But when it's like very strong, it's just... I don't know. Bangyar, leafy, earthy, leafy, wet, leafy. Yeah. Uh, now I know why this thing is $6.99, but let's finish this up, I guess. It's not a good cigar to start when I get back. Should I have to choose something better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> be right back. Okay, I'm finally done. Finally done. The whole time. This cigar is just, ooh. It's bad. It's bad. I can't recommend it at all. Oof. Um, yeah. Leafy, barnyard, leather, um, licorice at the end. But the whole time you still taste that really wet, weird, leafy taste. It's just not 
good. It doesn't have a pleasant taste to this thing. I don't even know what to say about this. I, I'm just smoking it. Try to get through with it. You know, my minimum rating is $6. This thing is the hell stay away $6, okay? This is move $6. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes I, I regret to say that, you know, every cigar is worth something. And that it needs a minimum respect of $6. But this thing, they rate it $6.99. They, they sell it at $6.99 for a reason. For a reason, I can't know. There's way better brow leaf combos out there. Try everything else with this. All right, so yeah, that will be it for this particular review. Eric sent me the cigar, so thank you, Eric, for sending me a cigar. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, and that that will be the end of the review. Yeah. So if you like seeing me suffer through this cigar, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, check out our podcast, check out swag, check out membership. I can't even be excited about this. Just I, why did I smoke through this? Why? Why? So that will be it for tonight. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.